real estate is all about location, location, location. And I really took this for granted when I was younger, but San Juan really is in the center of Manila. It literally is in the center. And I don't, it's very obvious, but when you're here living here, it doesn't seem that way. It certainly is the center of the Phil Chai community because no matter how far you live, your parents will still force you to study in Xavier, right? And I think the one piece that we still need to bring into San Juan is uh, master plan communities. And I'm, I'm glad that you're doing a lot of vertical developments because that really is the answer to, to all this urbanization that's happening. These single detached houses, these townhouses have to give way to vertical. To more highly, to more denser communities. Yes, yes. You've mentioned earlier that residential lots inside villages were at, are at the peak at their peak, still going higher. But now how about residential condos? What do you feel about it? Yeah, so the lower end of the market have been hit hard because they're the ones who lost their jobs. Who, But the middle, middle and above continue to do well despite the fact that rents fell in the residential sector. Many expats couldn't come to visit their home. They were stuck out of the country. They had to give up many uh, leases and so rents dropped significantly like up to 40 percent and yet property values on the buy side continued to be steady or climb and and so I think you know I think even during COVID people continue to buy what's your advice for people especially the first time real estate investors or home buyers or even people who want to invest into commercial properties what's your one advice for them Maybe two. One is that you have to know what you want and don't compromise on that. And second is manage your debt. Don't, don't uh, invest too much by borrowing too much. And so you, people have to know the limits of how much they can borrow. So for people who want to be like David Lee Chu, who want to be successful, energetic, um, charming, Share it with our viewers your mantra in life and your life philosophy, David. I mean, just something for people to really think about that I want to be David, so I should be like this. Uh, I guess have purpose in life so that when you lo lose your way, and sometimes that happens, you are able to find your way back. Second is uh, we have to stay relevant. We have to do good, always good. Uh, and we have to be fair and just to everyone. I guess the other philosophy is the good spreads itself. So one person cannot just keep accumulating for the sake of accumulating. They have to spread that good to other people. And a lot of people helped me to get to where I am today, wherever that is. And I'm obliged to help as many people as I can so that they find their way and they are given breaks. So many people gave me breaks. So many people gave me their time, their effort, their genuine goodwill. And I want to be able to do the same thing to others.